ऑनरेबल मेंबर ऑफ पार्लियामेंट श्री शिवाजी राव अठाराव पाटिल मैं कलीग एम एल ए श्री सुरेश मोरे संजय बाला भेगड़े ऑनरेबल श्री हिरमाचु एम्बेसडर ऑफ जापान इन इंडिया चेयरमैन ऑफ फोरिबा मिस्टर फोरिबा चेयरमैन ऑफ फोरिबा इंडिया डॉक्टर जय हाकू मिस्टर नागानो डायरेक्टर फोरिबा इंडिया राजीव गौतम प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ फोरिबा इंडिया ऑल द डिग्नेटरीज प्रेजेंट हियर ऑल द मेंबर्स ऑफ फोरिबा फैमिली लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन एट द आउटसेट आई वुड लाइक टू कॉन्ग्रेचुलेट फोरिबा इंडिया फॉर कंप्लीटिंग 10 years in india but also for opening of this very high tech state of art technical facility in the state of maharashtra i feel that uh, this facility has brought maharashtra on a global map and for horiba uh, it's uh, the fifth facility of its kind in the entire globe so dr hari hori bhai i would like to thank you for uh, setting up this facility in uh, maharashtra i feel uh, india is uh, now one of the biggest manufacturer and also uh, consuming market into automobile we are the largest in two wheelers second largest in passenger vehicles third largest in transportation vehicles and as rightly pointed out will be fourth largest in the fields of cars four wheeler automobile so i think uh, the entire ecosystem of automobile sector has been uh, developed in india especially when we look at maharashtra and the region in and around pune the entire uh, ecosystem of uh, the automobile is set up and it's actually contributing largest number of uh, automobiles in the entire country this industry is also giving a lot of employment to the people and uh, is growing very fast is adding into the gdp growth rate of uh, of our country and i think uh, with this facility here we can actually take this uh, ecosystem to a newer height as uh, we all know that uh, we are graduating to Uh, bs6 and this facility is meant for bs6 and uh, all the automobiles soon have to be compliant with bs6 and for uh, making automobiles compliant we need more and more state of art testing facilities and uh, as rightly pointed out horiba has pioneered this art of testing and uh, the facilities technical facilities which it, it has created is a uh, one of the best in the world with all uh, type of simulators available all type of conditions can be created and the engines can be tested so as to reduce the emission pollution and to make them uh, more sustainable i think uh, this facility is absolutely at right place because uh, pune as i have already said has a uh, already uh, ecosystem of uh, automobile but what is more important in and around pune is uh, the automotive sector in pune is uh, fulfilling the dreams of our honorable prime minister mr modi of make in india because uh, mostly uh, initially the pune was a center where a uh, lot of 
assembling was being done but now it has become a major manufacturing sector and uh, i have often seen that uh, more than 80% of the parts automotive parts are sourced from either pune or nearby area so i think this ecosystem is more important because uh, uh, we want to develop a country which is not just assembled in india but which is make in india because we have all talent we have all human resource available and we want to engage that human resource into uh, all this manufacturing and i think uh, while i was taking a tour uh, here i was told that uh, even in this facility uh, most of the things around 80% things are sourced uh, indigenously locally uh, either from maharashtra or from india so i think uh, it also makes it uh, uh, a make in india facility so thank you for that but uh, let me tell you we are looking for 100% uh, make in india so maybe uh, in next 2 3 years uh, we can graduate this facility to 100% uh, make in india and uh, i think uh, this huge market which is created and and which is because we have such an aspirational uh, population so the demand for automotive uh, will be ever growing although we want to have more and more public transport and we want to come down on usage of uh, uh, private cars but i think still uh, for next 10 20 years india must be uh, will be one of the biggest markets and we require uh, such technical facilities uh, on the other hand as uh, uh, rightly pointed out by uh, dr j haku uh, you have started your facility into uh, medicine at haridwar and you want to locate it to further south let me tell you that uh, instead of going to south you are thinking uh, correctly you should go to the central india that is nagpur because nagpur is a zero mile of the country from nagpur you can serve the entire south as well as the central uh, part of india so i think uh, that's the right right choice and uh, from the maharashtra's point of view uh, i would like to offer you all the facilities which you require uh, to create uh, Uh, such uh, such environment such ecosystem we would also like you to uh, to take a look at uh, our auto cluster at uh, aurangabad where we are creating a smart city dmic and uh, that will be uh, the second destination apart from pune where we will host uh, most of the automotive industries we are expecting uh, quite a lot of companies to come there to invest there so i think uh, apart from pune you can also look at aurangabad as 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 your next destination and uh, i think uh, uh, whatever future expansions or new ventures uh, you would like to uh, start uh, my suggestion to you would be that the maharashtra is the best place so uh, never think of any other state just think of maharashtra and just let us know what you require so we'll facilitate everything uh, even the the honorable ambassador would vouch on it because most of the projects uh, with the government of japan are happening in maharashtra so the most of the investment from the government of japan is also coming to maharashtra so uh, let's make maharashtra the favorite destinations for the japanese uh, businesses uh, I, i went to japan i had a lot of interaction with the japanese businesses and i found out that uh, they are very keen to come here the only thing which we need is a lot of hand holding and the government is is ready to do that so i think uh, uh, apart from uh, setting up uh, this facility horiba india can be also can be our ambassador uh, to attract the japanese businesses because your experience in in pune and in maharashtra uh, can actually uh, if you narrate them to uh, other industries other businesses there they would also like to come to maharashtra maharashtra is uh, uh, best place to manufacture it has best ecosystem it has it has best human resource and uh, uh, the law and order situation and everything is is very good in maharashtra so i think uh, uh, we could see more and more japanese industries uh, coming to maharashtra but at this juncture i would like to uh, thank dr horiba and the entire horiba family for creating uh, this state of art facility at pune congratulations and thank you very much